Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching. So today I'm just gonna do my eyes. Um, I've already done my face. I've already done all of my uh, contour and my highlighting and my eyebrows. So today it's just gonna be eyes, cheeks, and lips. Okay, I'm adding plain old Vaseline to my lips for some moisture. Starting off with clean eyelids, I'm going to add my primer, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I use the anti-crease eyeshadow primer because my eyelids are very oily and if I don't, my eyeshadow will crease. This primer actually stops that from happening. Then I go in with my NYX shadow base in white and I use this because I need for the eyeshadow that I put on to pop. And from my Anastasia of Beverly Hills palette, I'm using the color Antique. I know that I've trashed this palette before in another video, but you know, some of the colors ended up being worth my while, and Antique is one of them. So I'm just applying this all over my lid, um, from my inner eye all the way down to my outer V. Next, I go in with my MAC pigment in deep blue green and I'm just gonna spray my brush with a little Fix Plus and I'm gonna add that to my inner tear duct area but not as close to my lash line as one would think. I don't know, I've gotten inspiration lately by looking at my face and applying shadow to this part of my eye and not necessarily any kind of shadow, like a dark color. So almost like making it a crease in this front part of my eye. I'm not sure what this part is called so. Let's just call it the almost inner eye. <laughs> so I'm just going to add it there and I'm also going to add it to my outer V. So there's a whole heck of a lot of blending throughout this <laughs> for this color. Um, right now I'm adding the color to my eye without opening up my eyelid as much so that I can make sure that when I am at regular it um, looks good. So that's why you see me not like lifting up my eyebrows to get the color in perfect. So I'm adding a little bit more antique in there just um, because it kind of fades away and with the overwhelming I don't know what I'm trying to say. I add a little bit more antique. That's just the end of that story. <laughs> so I called this um, tutorial date makeup because I wore this on a date and I thought it was dramatic but it wasn't too over the top. So that's why I called it that. I really like it. I really like the look. I've worn it now I think twice. So moving on with my e.l.f. beauty clutch. I'm gonna use the purple in this clutch. This clutch is actually kind of gray. I said this in my favorites video. The color is super pigmented. So I really just dipped it in there one time, added a little bit to my crease right above the deep blue green, and that was it. I just blend, blended it out after that. There was no, I didn't add any more pigment to it. So I'm really, really happy with this palette. For my highlight, it's Woodwinked by MAC. It does what I use all the time for my highlight. One day I'm gonna find another color that I like. Using the very same brush that I used to apply the blue-green, I'm going to sweep a little bit of blue-green underneath my eye along my lower lash line, you know, for an almost smoky look. Eyeliner by Stila.
By adding my blush right above my contour and not on the apple of my cheeks, I think it makes my contour stand out a little bit more. Let me tell you how my neighbor tried to play me. Okay, so I'm running into my building trying to catch the elevator and she's inside the elevator and I grab the door at the last minute and get, jump in and she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I thought you only lived on the second floor. And I was like, girl, I do live on the second floor. Thank you. And like push number two and was quiet. But how did, she doesn't know my life. She doesn't know what I do all day. What she, how's she gonna assume that I don't wanna take the elevator? People are so rude. So now I'm adding mascara just to my eyelashes. I'm not actually taking it onto the false eyelashes. I don't add mascara to my false eyelashes because I think it weighs them down. Okay, I'm done, yay! Uh, no, I have to add my lips, boo. So I'm gonna line my lips with some hodgepodge. Then I'm gonna go in with photo, which is, I believe, the black girl's nude color from MAC. <laughs> it's closest to nude that I've ever gotten. And then I add a little bit of Lady Danger to the um, middle of my lips just to give my lips some dimension. You know, I love dimension. That's it. Um, you can also try maybe some Buxom by Two Timer and that hodgepodge. That makes a nice uh, nude if you're not liking the photo that I have on my lips right now, but I love it. So yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Share, 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 share this video. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.